If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and try to answer the question first on your own before listening on. We have the fish swimming around in the bowl and light rays will emanate off of the fish, strike the surface of the bowl, refract or bend, and then they will enter the eye of the observer where they will form an image. So we could maybe draw a couple of these light rays refracting at the surface of the fishbowl and then entering the eye of the observer. Now, whenever we form an image, which we could label I over here, through the process of refraction, then the following equation will hold true. And so in this equation, we have the index of refraction of the front surface, the index of refraction of the back surface. We have the radius of curvature of the spherical surface. We have the object distance and then the image distance. And part of the trick to using this equation properly is to define a front and back side of the refracting surface. And the book tells us that wherever the light rays are originating is where we will call that surface the front. We'll say that again because that's really important. Wherever the light rays are originating will be the front surface. We have said that the light rays are originating from the fish, so we can label the side that the fish is located the front. And then on the other side, we would have the back. And the reason it's important to identify the front and back is because certain sign conventions are going to apply. And as a reference, we have put those sign conventions below right here in this little table. So what we'll do is begin to plug in the known values, but we will be very careful to follow these sign conventions. Let's start with the index of refraction of the front surface. And we can see again, based on our label, that that is the surface where the water is residing. Now we were told that the water has an index of refraction of 1.333. So we would plug 1.333 in for the value of N1. Below that we have P, which is the object distance. And we can see that the object, again, is on the front side. That's where the fish is located. And whenever the object is located on the front, we're going to assign it a positive object distance. Now, we were told that the fish is located a distance of 10 centimeters from the wall of this bowl. So we would use positive 10 centimeters in our equation. We then come to N2, which is going to be the index of refraction of the region that's outside of the bowl, and that presumably is just air. So the index of refraction of air is approximately one. Q is going to be the image distance, and that is actually what we're looking for. So for now, we're just going to leave that as our unknown. We come over on the other side, we've already said that N2 is one, and N1 is 1.333. And then the radius is given as 15 centimeters, but we gotta, again, check our sign conventions and we can see that the radius is on the side that we have marked the front. And according to our conventions, that will give the radius a negative sign. So be very careful here to put a negative 15 centimeters in for the radius. And now we got to do a little bit of algebra. Maybe you could pick up your calculator and type this expression in to simplify it. And when you do that, you should get 0 0.0222. We could then pick up our calculators and simplify this expression here as well. We could then subtract this value from both sides of the equation so that it'll cancel out on the left. And then to solve for Q, we could do a little trick here. We could place the quantity on the right over one. And then since we have a single fraction on the left side and a single fraction on the right side, we can actually invert those two fractions. And when we do that, we're essentially flipping them upside down. So we end up with Q over one, but of course Q over one is just Q. And then we'll have one over negative 0.111. And when we type that into our calculator, we're going to get roughly negative nine centimeters for the value of Q. Now returning to our sign convention and remembering that Q is the image location, if Q ends up with a negative value, then it's located in the front side of the surface. Remember, the front is inside the bowl. So what that means is that the image distance will be nine centimeters from the surface of the bowl. So the image would show up right about at this point right here. That would be where Q is located. So perhaps we could phrase our answer as nine centimeters inside 
the wall of the bowl. And so this would be the final answer to the question.